I thought I'd show you guys what we do to keep the kids occupied. We also focus a lot on just like, hey, go out and play. That's what we did when we were kids. Oh, that's so yummy. <laughs> All right, we got a kid that stepped in poopy over here. That's the dangers of going back there. One other thing we do to keep our kids occupied is we tickle time. If you have kids that are acting crazy and you don't know why, try that. See if that helps. What's up guys? Hope you're having a good day and a great week. Danielle's gone. She just left to go do some Young Living business with a friend. I thought I'd show you guys what we do to keep the kids occupied. Typically, whenever it's just one of us at home, it's really hard to keep the house in order if they're not busy doing something. So let me show you what they're doing right now. It's actually a few different things. Our kids like doing all kinds of crafts and artwork, and so that's kind of what we have them doing right here. Check it out. Some of the most favorite things our kids do are, what is it? Perler beads. Yeah, so they love doing perler beads. Tyler got this actual Wonder Woman perler bead set up for Christmas, so she's about to start working on that. Elena's doing perler beads. They got this big set right here of perler beads, like 30,000 perler beads and this is all for my Christmas. Beads. Judy got her a dinosaur perler beads for Christmas, so she's doing that. Over here, um, Ev is coloring. She's doing a wonderful job, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful. Mom. That's a few of the things that they like to do. Um, that'll keep them busy for a little while, and then we'll move on to doing some other fun things. Danielle already has removed all of our Christmas decorations and Christmas tree. She actually did that the day after Christmas. Like our whole card wall, gone. Christmas tree, gone. I went to have a friend shoot a video the other day and came back and it was gone. I was like, where did everything go? She's like, we gotta get ready to move. This is gonna stress me out if we don't get this just taken care of and clean this room and get this room ready to go. She took all the plants and decorations, everything off of our shelf. Got rid of the chair that was in here. Lots of stuff has gone out of here. This room's actually pretty good and ready to move out of here. So, so I'm gonna show you something that Danielle did with all the girls' craft stuff to help keep it organized and hopefully help them keep it all together and not make a big mess. She put them in those bins to keep them organized and each one of the bins are ours and so she keeps all of our Christmas stuff in each bin. All so, the stuff you got for Christmas, right? Yeah. So you have your own bin and Elena has her own bin yeah. and so you have to keep it all in there. If it, what happens if, it, if it's not in there? My yeah, sisters will mess it up. We gotta make sure that we keep it in there, right? So they have been for all the girls. Everly has one. I don't know who this is. They all have their own bin. They know whose is whose. Oh, this one's mine. I think that's Abby's. No, I think that's Ev's, because that's Ev got that for Christmas. Oh. And those little papers. Oh. Um, before we just had everything underneath, I'll show you that over here. We had everything underneath this cabinet, and they would just get everything out, make a big mess, not want to clean it up because everybody was playing with it, and they say, I wasn't playing with this, I wasn't playing with that. So now they have their own bins with like coloring books and what's all in your bin? Tape! Tissues, tape, tape. But not markers and stuff, right? No, I don't think so. I got crayons. Markers. We, she got this little thing to keep all the markers in. Markers, um, what are they? Stamps. Stamps. And then pencils. So they still share like the pencils and markers and things, but like all their coloring books, things like that go in their own little bin. Addie wants a snack, right? What kind of snack do you want? What kind of snack? I'm gonna put this somewhere safe. Oh, down there? Okay, we'll get you one. You want a snack too? Yeah. Alright, we'll get you a snack too. Oh my goodness, everybody wants a snack. Okay, let's get a snack. This is already like a catch all room, this table was, but now it's even more so because we went through some stuff upstairs, got some clothing and things we're getting rid of. We have some toys that we had upstairs that were kind of like just in case gifts for people or friends or whoever we needed that we're kind of like, oh, let's just get rid of them because we're moving. A couple other things like gifts we've gotten that never opened and just going to donate. Um, so. Yeah, this is kind of becoming a room that like gathers all our things just to kind of help us get moving. So we're kind of clearing out other rooms and just bringing stuff into here. And then from here, it's going to go out to a moving truck when it's time to go. So we really try to limit screen time with our kids. We notice a huge difference in their behavior and attitudes whenever they're actually on screens, specifically like tablets, the computer, iPads, iPhones 
anything like that. TV as well, but I feel like it's not as bad, but we don't want them to sit in front of the TV all day either. Like we watched a little bit of TV, maybe like two shows that they like and then turned it off. So we just don't like letting them sit on those kind of things because we do notice such a huge difference in their behavior. So that's why we are focusing on crafts. They love doing crafts. They do make a mess with them, but we're kind of trying to learn now to make sure we clean up behind ourselves. We also focus a lot on just like, hey, go out and play. That's what we did when we were kids. They enjoy playing outside and it's actually a warm day in December. It's like 70 degrees outside. So when they're done with that, they're going outside. Judy. Do you want Judy to go with you? Who's going to play outside? Me. What you got? I got, um. Do you need me to iron something? Yeah, maybe something. All that stuff over there? Yeah, sure. Okay. So the girls have this little secret hideout spot that they love and I think it's so awesome because that's like what I did as a kid. We always had this like secret hideout place or like a oh, fort yeah, we build. Let's yeah, let's check it out. It's honey. Honey? Honey. What? It's too honey. Too what? Too honey. Addy? Too honey. Honey? Yeah. What are you talking about? Too honey. What's honey? I don't know what she's talking about. Liquid pasta stew? Um, no thanks. Not for I think real, I'll, not for real. I think I'll pass. Not for real, Daddy. Okay. Oh, that's so yummy. Mm -hmm. When did you make that? Um, yesterday. All right, we got a kid that stepped in poopy over here. Um, that's the dangers of going back there. You never know what you're gonna yeah, because, get into. Yeah, because Chase steps in, I mean, poops back there. So yeah, does sometimes Journey. it does. All right, you got poop on the seat now. Yeah. Wash it off, kid. You're gonna oh, video you washing it? The joys. You're gonna video you washing it, Dad? Oh, we got a naked kid in here taking a bathroom break. Jude, what are you doing? I go bathroom. Alright, well, I, I gotta wash this kid's feet off. Daddy, washing it. Thank you. I did it. Success. Oh, well. My dad's washing his hands. Thanks, Ty. Good narration, Ty. That's good narration. So don't misunderstand me when I say we don't use screens or don't like to use screens because we do use them, just not often, or we try not to. Some days we just, we need them. Everybody knows that. So no judgment for parents that have to give their kid a screen because we know, we understand. We just try not to. And sometimes we just come and hang out outside and have a little chit chat with our sister. And I'm just sucking on my lightsaber. Lifesaver? It's not even lifesaver, it's just a gummy. I want to play. I'm sucking on my lightsaber. And I want to play. Just, you can play. I'm going to stay here and listen to the people. You guys got to stay in our yard, okay? Is it peaceful out here? Yeah, it's kind of nice out today, isn't it? Yeah, and especially it's been and, hot and, all morning today. Hot. I wish it's December. It should be cool, cool and cool. Oh, well, yeah, compared hot. to what Yeah, I would like for it to be nice and cold with some snow. What do you think about that? Yeah. Maybe soon. We'll see. Dear God, may you please send snow down so we can make snow angels. Oh, yes. Thank you. And a snowman so we can sneak outside when our parents are sleeping and make a snowman. Thank you. We've done that before. Yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> we did it two times. One time we, we didn't snuck out and build a snowman. Oh, we've one time done we did it. One time we've snuck out at darkness. Remember that, Dad? Whenever we snuck out and you got us to come in. Mm -hmm. Even though it was dark outside, yeah. the whole sky was black. Not looking forward to when they're going to be teenagers. Anyways, they're just hanging out. I saw them. <laughs> I told them they had to stay in our yard and they were just sitting there. Oh yeah. They are just sitting out there talking to each other. I thought that was cute. It is such a nice day out. I just want to kind of hang out out here. Marin's inside. I might have to go get her up and bring her down. What'd you make? Oh! Look how creative you are. Good job, bud. She's so creative. Alright, and so... One other thing we do to keep our kids occupied is we tickle time! That's always enjoyable for everyone.
So the other day our RoboVac decides to go into our office, which it's not supposed to do that because carpet in there and this one does not clean carpet. Cool, fine, it's done it before. I guess we left the door open and it just went on in. Not even the area we wanted it to clean. We wanted it to clean the dining room and the living room and the kitchen. Cool, whatever, it happens. Also unbeknownst to us, Journey pooped in the office. So the little RoboVac decided it was gonna roll over the poop and go all through the office with it. So we had to clean that up. Now this thing has poop on it and I'm gonna clean that. Lots of poop going on around here, guys. It's just what happens. So while the kids are occupied playing perler beads, playing outside, that's what I'm doing. Looks pretty good. No signs of poop anywhere. Cleaned all the wheels off and uh, oh, what happened to my baby? She's alone, she's so sad, I'm coming buddy. I'm gonna go tend to the kiddos now. That's nice to have gotten done. I wanted, I'm glad I got that in the other day um, and I've been wanting to take care of it because it's disgusting, so. So check this out guys, listen how quiet it is in here right now. The kids, when they're watching TV a lot or looking at screens, by the end of the day, they're just chaos. Like they're fighting and angry and upset. Um, they're not chaos right now. They know what We're not chaos right now. Dude, we let them watch like two shows today. And it's like, go play, do crafts, do stuff. They fight a little bit on that. Like they might get a little upset at that moment because they want to watch TV or whatever. But once we get past that, the rest of the day is like, for the most part, smooth sailing. So if you have kids that are acting crazy and you don't know why, and you're getting a lot of screen time, try that. Again, they might fight you on it at first, but just get past the initial argument and fight and the kid's upset about not getting screen time, and then see how the rest of the day goes. Report back, let me know. So Danielle's on her way, making quick burritos for these kids for dinner. I need to make some vegetables or something, we'll see. Yeah, so far it's going really good tonight, so. All right guys, before we go, I wanna let you know something, that the more comments we get, the more reach our videos get. So if you're someone who enjoys watching our videos, but maybe you don't comment very often, please, please, please leave a comment. It means so much to us to get them, but it also helps us tremendously um, by getting our videos out for more people to see. So leave a comment below. Let me just know in general what your thoughts are on screen time and kids' behaviors. If you've noticed anything um, in your kids' behaviors, I would love to hear what your thoughts are. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.